We gon' party like it's your birthday. We gon' sip a card like it's your birthday. And you know we don't give a fuck it's not your birthday. What's up, knuckleheads? Can I shave here? Gonna do a full shave here. So today I'm gonna use a couple new things to me. One thing I've only had for about a week. Um, the razor is gonna be the Tatara Razors Masum Masumun Open Comb Razor. Beautiful. Beautiful razor, love this thing. Um, the brush, it's gonna be a new Yaki with the white with black tips. Never, I've used this used a brush with the same knot once, I believe. Um, I don't know if I'm sold on the knot yet. Um, I like it. I don't know if I like the looks of the knot. Love this handle though. Really cool handle. Big, thick, round handle. Really nice. And the soap. This is a special thing. This hasn't been released yet. And I don't think it's gonna be released till March. I don't think, and this is Jolly Tar from Collins Trade and Supply, which is uh, sold by Spiffo, which is uh, Edward Monk. Um, actually, I was lucky enough to go over to his place last night. Beautiful shop. He has like 200 brushes. It's like heaven. Ridiculous. And he had three new soaps. This one, Red Flag, and Scotian Loot. Uh, so he's got six cents. Now this is my second of his. The Jolly Tar is... The scents on this, there's two essential, two not, two oils, I think they're essential oils, are spearmint. Let me look in the back here. Yes, spearmint and anise. So, if you like anise, this is awesome. The spearmint just kind of smooths it out at the end. Two notes, wonderful. If you love anise, like black licorice, this, this scent is awesome. Fantastic. Um, out of the puff, the puck, scent strength, medium light. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a stronger off the puck. Um, one thing I gotta say is people are really uh, stereotyping me as being Canadian. They say all I drink is Tim Horton's coffee. And they say we just play hockey all the time. Oh, geez, I just gotta move this out of my bathroom. I don't know why it's in there. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm not, Canadians aren't all like that. <laughs> but seriously, uh, my son's actually at hockey right now, which is kind of funny. So let's get into the shave. Um, just gonna wet my face a little bit. Um, in the razor, I've got a feather blade. Uh, it's on its third. This will be the third shave on it, which is about when it reaches its peak. Um, the problem with feather blades, I love feather, feather blades, but they have a steep decline. Once you hit that spot, they don't slowly get worse. They just go from amazing to terrible mid shave, which is kind of a crummy thing. So I shook my brush out fairly dry brush. I like to lather a fairly dry brush. It's easier to add water as you go. So I'm getting like a pasty lather here. It's a harder soap. Um, a lot of soaps now are super like almost like creams. Um, this one's a little bit harder I would say. I think that should be good. It's hard to tell because the white bristles is hard to... Oh yeah. It's hard to tell how much lather you have with the white knot. Looks awesome, but don't know if I'm sold on it yet. So I'm gonna wet the face again, just to make sure I have enough moisture. While I was in the shower, I always um, use like a face wash or something just to moisten the moisten my face up, moisten the whiskers, soften them up. Um, lately, it's been the Tej Hanley face wash. Love my Tej Hanley stuff. I've got the level three. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I love it. The scent on it's kind of like a, if I'd say lavender, definitely need to add some water to this. Um, really nice lavender scent. Oh yeah. As soon as you hit the, this with the water, start really getting nice and thick. Ooh, the scent really comes out. That anise is amazing. Again, anise is one of those scents that you love it or you hate it. I don't think there's many guys that are kind of impartial. It's one of those things that, like I said, you're going to love it or you're just not going to like it at all. So I'll post this as a Sunday shave, but I'll probably post it tomorrow on Monday, which is my birthday. So it's kind of a birthday shave, even though I will be shaving tomorrow morning before work with something. But I I put, put a video out. Um, that's about how I like my lather. 
I'm not sure if I loaded enough soap here, but whatever, let's get into it. So, open comb, Tatara razor. Oh yeah, it just glides through that. Um, yeah, I just... I love, I really do enjoy open comb razors. Um, although for me, I say shave every day, I don't necessarily need the open comb. My beard isn't that thick. That's what's kind of nice about this, it's not super aggressive. I say it's medium aggressive, maybe even mildish aggressiveness. Um, but super efficient, which is awesome. Part of that, I think, is the heavier handle, like the heavier weight of the razor, which is why I kind of like to go with the heavier razors, because it just helps with letting the razor do the work. It's actually amazing how grippy this handle is. I was thinking, oh, I don't know how grippy it's going to be. I like the thick knurling and, like, the... The knurling, like my pastry handle, and like the bulldog stainless steel handle. But this is, I think it's the finish on it, and the the spheres on the handle are just, it's super grippy. Like once you're holding onto it, you're like, you, you don't have any words about slipping. And this is super, oh, such a smooth shave. I'm a big fan of feathers, other than the fact that they go crappy so fast, they don't last very long. They are expensive most of the time though, which is, I don't know if you're getting your money's worth. There's a lot of guys who seem to be using nassets. I've never, I haven't used a nasset before. Um, what do you guys think of those? Um, I'd like to get my hands on a couple, just to try them out. Um, kind of be really popular right now, kind of when Voskhods got popular. But I wasn't a big fan of Voss Gods. When I had a good blade, it was great, but I got quite a few duds I found. And if you don't know if you've had a dud blade before, you haven't, because you know as soon as you put it in, you use one, it's just like tuggy. And it's weird, like, I experienced that with both Voss God and the Balzanos. But when I get a good Balsano, I love it. It's a great blade, but so, I've had so many duds that it's not worth my time buying them because I don't have the time. I don't want to be switching blades in the morning. It's just a pain in the butt where I'd rather have a consistent consistent play that I know is gonna work. There's pass one done. Great, nice and smooth. Wipe face, lots of residual slickness. Wow, that's really nice. I wasn't even thinking about that, but yeah, nice residual slickness. Great slickness actually during the shave as well. Um, just gonna do another pass on the face. Uh, leave my neck alone there. This part of my neck is always irritating no matter what. Um, so let's just see if I got enough lather in here. I'm pretty sure I. Oh yeah, easily enough lather in there. Which is not quite nice, nice and soft. But actually, a little bit of scritch in it. I find. Maybe it's just me. Maybe my face is just sensitive. I don't know. But yeah, there's a little bit of scritch in there. I definitely could have loaded the brush a little bit longer. That's one of my problems is I don't load very heavy. My brush. Um, so, but that's because I only do like kind of the two and a half passes. And I don't know, I think it's something that I learned out of when I first started wet shaving, I only had like one or two soaps. I didn't want to use them all up. Like they were samples of <laughs> sterling. So I had to like take it easy with the, lo the lathering but I still haven't gotten past that. Um, just seriously load every soap like you hate it. Pocket soap's gonna last you forever, especially if you have multiples like most of us do. Let's do pass two, it's gonna do a, an against the grain on the cheeks. This razor is so smooth. And like I said, this is a feather blade in there, which feather blades are not forgiving. Anybody that's used one 
knows that they can be, I'm not going to say finicky, they're just, you've got to be, you got to be careful what you're doing. You can't just rush through a shape, I don't find with one. I guess some blades, like an Astra, they're smooth, but you can kind of whip through a shave mindlessly with them. I find this razor is so efficient that I kind of have the feeling that I want to just whip through the shave. And I feel like I could not pay attention with a feather in there, but not worth the risk. Um, I don't feel like bleeding today. Let's go and do a like, cross grain pass on the mustache there. So my wife's taking me out for dinner tonight for my birthday. We got a babysitter coming for the three kids. We're gonna go up to a new place that just opened up downtown Halifax and Tojo Tacos and Tequila. I might have a tequila. Don't know, but I'm excited to try something new. Just kind of like I like that with shaving too. I I love trying new stuff. It's just just how I am. Just having a conversation with somebody about how I used to always say, soap X is always going to be in my den. I'm always going to have it. Whereas now I'm like, you know what? There's not many soaps that I'm going to keep in my den forever because everybody keeps on cranking out great improving their soap and improving their formula and stuff like that. Like first Canadian, I was like, oh, I'm going to have cake forever. Then they came with Dickens. Even with b and I was like, I'm always going to have uh, Diamond. But then like first snow came out and I had a sample of that. And I love that stuff. So it's awesome. I um, mean like the Collins, like I love the, my other pocket packet surprise, but this is, and these is amazing. Like, it's just, I just don't think the whole keeping a certain soap, there's just too many options out there. And variety is the spice of life. Like I like trying new things. That's why I do this. That's why I review razors and soaps and stuff like that and brushes. I want to try different things. I don't want to be using the same thing over and over again. Like there's guys that only use badger brushes or only bore, which teaches them. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just for myself and for guys watching, I want to be able to compare stuff to badgers and bores and different synthetics and stuff like that because I like trying all different things from high end to from high end to low end and everything in between you never know what's going to work for you and I'm I've been surprised by some cheaper stuff I've been surprised by some expensive stuff how much I didn't like it etc so it's got to be I don't know it's best to try things out that's what I'm saying um I'm gonna throw on some Thayer's a big proponent of the witch hazel. This is a super medicated because I just saw it sitting there and yeah, I like this stuff. I don't put on too much. And with all the fairs, like even the scented ones, that scent goes away pretty quick after you apply it. I'll rinse that off. I've always been a huge witch hazel guy. I don't usually, I don't put, I don't know, for some reason my shave of the days, I don't put like my post shaves a lot of times in there, like the Barbado or the with the Thayer's, which I use one or the other pretty much every shave. Um, now to finish the shave off, which is fantastic. Wow, what a great, 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 great razor, great soap. Actually, your face feels nice. I don't know if I, I always put on a bomb or something after, so what I'm gonna be using today is my T. Shanley, Morning. This actually has SPF in it. Don't need to put very much on, like a little drop. Rub it in. Again, there's a little bit of scent to it. Nice calming scent. Nothing's that's gonna affect if you want to throw on another bomb with a scent or a cologne. Not gonna get affected by it. The next we're gonna go with the super serum. Super serum. I love this stuff. This is what the, I think this is what you get with the level two. It's a super serum. Very little, very little of this stuff you need. Again. 
This stuff I find takes your face from feeling like nice to like feeling like wow, really good stuff. Um, exciting stuff from the page. I can do a video on it actually maybe this week. Um, but just a little teaser: their international shipping prices have taken taken a huge drop. I think shipping to Canada now is six bucks. It was like fifteen before. So I think when I did my review video originally of Tiege, um, that was my only real thing I didn't like was how expensive the shipping was. And it's not that it's, that's just how much it costs to ship, but now they've, they're have taking a hit on the shipping now, like they're flipping it. And I think they're gonna do well with like, so I like to recommend it to people, but I find it hard to recommend to my fellow Canadians because it is probably 15 bucks a month for shipping. Like, yeah. Anyways, next is the eyes stuff. And I like this stuff because I'm not getting any younger. I've got 20 month old twins that, you know, they uh, keep you awake and keep you going. I'm pretty tired by the night time, but just this stuff makes you feel good too. Again, not really any scent on it. Don't get it in your eyes. Just a little drop of it. I have to put it all around the eye area. Make sure you don't get crow's feet or eyes. I like to call them laughing lines. It sounds a little bit cooler. Um, but yeah, I don't need to put very much on. There we go. That's it. Face feels awesome. Great stuff. Wow. Fantastic razor. The brush was great. Tatara razor, open comb. Let's see, just amazing. The box that comes in again, I gotta show this thing. This thing's just next level. This is a hefty box. This ain't no cheap box. I think it's olive wood. I think. I should look that up. Fantastic. The Jolly Tar Soap from Collins Street and Supply, sold by Spiffo. I'll put a link to that, to Spiffo in the description, as well as the Tatar Razor and to the Yaki, the Ally Express page. Really dug this brush, actually, I really liked it. Um, yeah, not too shabby. Great brush, I think 15 bucks maybe, something like that, they're pretty cheap. Worth looking into if you like the looks of the brush, pretty cool. Um, yeah, just a great shave overall. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Got to represent the East Coast lifestyle. Um, have a great day. I have a great day. It's my birthday. When you're watching this, tomorrow, as of when I'm recording. Yeah. Okay. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Oh, and again, the reason I picked the Tatara razor is because on my Instagram page, I put a vote. Which razor would you like to see me shave with? The Tatara or the Pace Streak from Modern Shaving Products? And it was super close. I think it was like... 18 to 17 the vote, so it's like super close. So probably my next shave I'll definitely be using the uh, Modern Shave Products Pastry because I'm gonna do a full review on that razor. So I've had it for a while, another great razor. But yeah, stay tuned for that, stay tuned for other videos. Hopefully I'm gonna have a mail call tomorrow, I hope. Um, but hopefully this week for sure, I've got a pretty two razors coming in for sure, which I'm excited about. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Have a good one, stay smooth, stay clean, shave, and all that other good stuff. Peace. Mm. Two, three, four.